Well, you know, I'm overwhelmed with excitement. You know, I'm speechless, but at the same time, I'm on a mission. And I thank the mayor, and I especially thank Steve Harvey. You know, especially when you have people that are citizen themselves and concerned, but you have people in higher places looking at little people like me, enhance the quality of life. Yep, you know, it's the part about me being nervous and scared each and every day. Yes, I am, you know, for my life, but Jesus Christ is my savior that gives me strength. And at the same time, the families that I work with, when you look at a 12-year-old that's been kidnapped, raped, murdered, thrown in the alley, and I'm looking at her body that night, and the next day, I have to take her family to the morgue and look at a picture on the wall. That family needs justice. And they don't understand that this gun violence needs to stop. There's a five-year-old that was shot in the back. I mentor him. He's paralyzed from the waist down. He can't play with his siblings no more. He can't run. He's in a wheelchair. That family needs justice. Most important, there's a $2 million operation going with human trafficking, where we work to try to stop human trafficking and try to bring young teenage victims, girls home who have been forced to sell their bodies in abandoned buildings, trap houses, where we find them tied to beds, tied to chairs, just selling their bodies. We rescue them. We try to restore their life. I have a 501c, Restoring Innocent Projects. That's Restoring Innocent Projects. In other words, once we rescue them, they are innocent victims. We help to restore their life and get them back in school and back in church because they are victims and they've been victimized so much. So my team, which consists of Sean Morrison Investigation, Carlos Rodriguez, our surveillance team, our human trafficking team, working along side by side with the Chicago Police Department and the FBI, and most important, the community, those people who are speaking out and helping us solve these crimes, we can build a better community.